Of course, we are tracking the weather right now with forewarned Chief Meteorologist Matt Broad, and we have a lot of active weather today, boy. That shot you just took, uh, Mount Bigelow, is going to look a lot different in about 36, 48 hours. We're going to see a lot of potentially heavy snow up there. So, yeah, that's exciting. first of the season, Angelique. Yeah. Winter officially starts the very first day tomorrow, and we are tracking just what we would expect to track, uh, something we have not seen much of in the last several weeks, and that is a pretty appreciable storm system. So, clouds are going to be decreasing until it arrives. We will be drying out. Heavier your showers arrive Friday and then into the day Saturday. So I know today's Wednesday. I think as soon really is tomorrow night, late night, and then into the day Friday. Finally, snow begins by Friday night in the mountains. The snow levels are going to start out very high. They are going to drop down Friday night into the day on Saturday. Quick check of live Doppler radar, and we are really not tracking, <coughs> excuse me, much of anything. <coughs> excuse me. Nearest rain to us is over sections of New Mexico, but look at that. Good clear break. We're seeing lots of sunshine breaking out over eastern sections of California, western Arizona. That's moving this way. This is our break. This is going to be probably our only break until Sunday, and that's all courtesy of this area of low pressure several hundred miles off the coast of California, and we are seeing a lot of heavy rain coming down from San Francisco all the way to the City of Angels. Right now, San Diego Dry, but as this low pressure cell moves to the south, we will see our rain chances start to pick up and those uh, mountain snow chances as well. Let's look at the weather charts. This is Thursday. What did I say? Tomorrow, I think mostly a dry day until late tomorrow night. As we make our way into late on th uh, Thursday into Friday, this is now a depiction of what Friday looks like. We're seeing a lot of green on the weather map, and as we make our way into Saturday, it's going to be a lot of green as well. So tracking valley rain, clouds, light rain through Friday morning. Okay, and then I think Friday uh, it's going to start picking up and turning heavier. Heaviest rain will occur Friday through Christmas Eve. I've actually upped some of the rainfall amounts. It's looking like it's going to contain a little bit more in the way of water, anywhere from three quarters of an inch to possibly just south of two inches of rain in the most generous spot. So this will be a good soaker. It's not going to come all at once. So flooding, not necessarily the biggest problem, but hey, we still could see some ponding in the roadway. So please be careful tracking the mountain snow. That's right. Snow level lowers late Friday into Sunday mornings, two to four inches of snow near 7,000 feet, but 8 to 16 inches of snow. So that represents almost a foot and a half above 8,500 feet. So that puts places like Summer Haven, top of Mount Lemon, Mount Graham, possibly a foot, if not more. White Mountains Flagstaff could be looking at closer to two feet of snow just in time for Christmas Day and, of course, Christmas Eve as well. It is 74, sky sunny at Tucson International Airport. Winds calm, 72 east siders, 72 Marana. So enjoy this. If you're one of these last few shopping days before Christmas, weather's looking good, upper 50s and Wilcox. Lows early on your Wednesday morning. I guess I should say Thursday morning. Today's Wednesday, so we'll go to 40s for Get the day started. 32 in Wilcox, 34 in Benson. Daytime highs for your Thursday. Going to be another warm one. I think low to mid 70s with mostly sunny skies early on, but clouds starting to move in from west to east late Thursday night, setting the stage for a very active Friday. So late tomorrow, which is also the first day of winter, starting off feeling more like spring, right? 74, 20% chance of night rain. Friday, 90% chance of moderate at times heavy rain. 70% chance of moderate to heavy rain on Saturday. Only into the upper 50s for daytime highs. Christmas Eve day, 60 for our high, 30% chance of some scattered showers. Then we'll clear pretty rapidly from west to east. Just in time for Christmas Day, I think we wake up sunny, bright, 60 for our high, 60 on Tuesday, 30s for lows, 62 on Wednesday. So this is really looking like a very festive holiday forecast. The only thing I'd be concerned about is Friday, Saturday. If you are traveling, check ahead with your airlines. Make sure your tires are inflated. If you're going to the mountains, make sure you have those chains, your four wheel drive, because above a certain elevation, we could see some of that pretty heavy snow just in time for the Christmas holiday, Angelique.